Joy, joy, joy. This is Swami, the Orange Cowboy. Today, I'm so happy to introduce you to an author, Thalia Alexiou. Thalia, welcome to the show. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. So tell us, uh, what is the name of your book? The name of my book is Gratitude Equals Increase. The Mathematical Equal Increase. All right. And what is that about? It's a very interesting name for a book. It's about a methodology I discovered uh, 40 years ago, and I use it uh, through the years for healing. Hmm. And, and watch this magic unflow in, from healing the body and the spirit of the human beings. And so what is the, the book about specifically? The book is actually, uh, it's, it's like a, a channel I have one day and I can tell the story. But the, the book is about how, it's, it's a different language, how to talk to our, our organs and our two body cells and two molecules and two protons and to the blood and to okay. everything about us. And what, are you, what is it you're talking to the cells about? Well, this is how I started. It, um, I, when I started my alternative medicine, that was the beginning of the 80s. And I have a woman, I have a lot of people with cancer, but that woman triggers my life. I just knew I loved her so much. And she just gave a birth to a child and she has only a few months to live. And her husband was a, a pediatrician. He brought her to me. And I didn't know how to help her. It was angry and it was a lot of things. So, and um, I used to go to the park every day before I go to the office and, and meditate to get an answer. I used to ask in the universe. So one day I went back to my house and it was seven days after, exactly seven days. I went to my house and I find, I saw my eye conduct. It was three books I have uh, and it is, the physics after the metaphysics of Aristotle, oh, wow. the philosopher. Yeah. So I opened the book and um, I noticed there it was a note. It's an ancient Greek. And so, I, But it was in the modern Greek, a, a, sign, a, a little note there, which it says, when Aristotle went to Athens, they, he was challenged and he asked this question. Who is the most misfortunate person? The one who has no eyes, no vision, no ears, no hearing, no arms, no legs. And uh, he says, the one who has all the above, but he's not grateful to God. So, and automatically, it was like a light bulb. So I went to my office and I have this woman. I'm not going to mention her name, but I do have a letter from her. So, and I, I said, well, let's, let's start being grateful for some things. And she said, I have nothing to be grateful. So, and then we start really, I, I took a mala, I gave her a mala, and I said, let's go and say, you know, you're grateful, you breathe in, you know, you have a family, you have children, you have this and that. So before we know this, we have 108 uh, uh, gratitude uh, things to be grateful for it. But when I put her in my table to channel energy, uh, energy therapy, I noticed, um, Things were coming to me I never used. I didn't know before. It was like a channel automatically to me and say, tell to her to be grateful to her right brain and to the left brain. Uh -huh. Now, meanwhile, she has a spot on the brain. Uh -huh. So, and it was like, uh, tell her to make it like a pyramid uh -huh. or, or go to the eyes and to the vision and be grateful. Go to the ears and then to the mouth, to the teeth, to everything. And on the end, to everything you know and you don't. And I was just keep practicing this. And she said, gee, you know, I feel so good. So the next day she drove herself, which before never drove herself. It was always her husband who would bring her to the office or a friend. Okay. And that's how I used to practice this methodology for many, many years very successfully. So then the book, when you talk about how to use a language to talk to the body, it's, it's, a, it's a book on how to heal by having a new language for your body and your mind, your emotions, and maybe for your life as well. And then I notice even in our personal environment, when I go and I make them alive, you know, when I talk to a goddess of prosperity, I say, I'm so grateful and thankful you are in my life and I can share these flowers with you. So 
I treat them like they are alive. They are part of my living environment. So, and, um, and that's what this methodology is all about. So it is for pretty much for everything. What you channel, you know, if you, if you challenge with your health, that's where you focus. If you challenge with your finances, that's what you, you know. Okay. And how did you come to write this book? Okay. My clients used to call me all the time and and say, you should make me a a CD because uh, your voice, it has this, this thing is healing me when you talk to me. I said, oh, okay. So uh, 2012, I think, or 13, I decided after all these years to go to a studio and make a CD. And then they said, well, why don't you make a book too? I said, oh, "Oh." and then I make a book 2016. Um, So that's how I came with. Awesome, wonderful. Is there anything, a CD or any kind of visuals that they can see you in action or explaining this? I do have a a CD. If if somebody wanted, they can ask. Mm. We can't watch it on YouTube or anything like that. I do, uh, when I do Feng Shui and I teach, and actually people can go in YouTube uh, under Fita Petra and find it, and I do that completely unconditionally, I like people to really have their environment balance. So I put the book in the success area or the health area, whatever the, the challenge is, because automatically we channel the message uh if we if we have a vision you know a granted vehicle increase so when you focus automatically in your health and if your health is at ease then you put the book at ease in your challenge if you're looking for money you put it in your success area or in southeast which is in general so i do really a lot of information there i've been sending uh, every every week I send a new video. So you're saying just putting the book in that section of the house will make things get better in that Absol- section? Absolutely. If you have uh, Northeast, for instance, it stands for wisdom. Mm-hmm. So it, a lot of times if I am confused and I can't really understand a book, I leave it there for seven days of purpose. Mm-hmm. And then I pick it up the book and I understand it because oh. the vibration already is changed my whole environment so is no energy anymore of steak now all right excellent well thank you and and where can folks find you and where can they find the book they can find my book in amazon okay. and in my personal okay and the book again is folks is called gratitude equal increase or just gratitude increase and you'll find that on amazon and what is your website my, uh, my website is Ali Alexiu and Tita Petra, T H E T A Petra, P E T R A. All right. Well, thank you for spending some time thank with us so and much. sharing all this uh, fascinating and wisdom. Thank you all of you. Thank you for sharing your wisdom. Until next time, folks, joy, joy, joy. God bless.